What do you think, Edward? Is today the day? I think it's time to go on a little medieval explore, exploration. Go and visit some of the German towns and villages and share them with you. So if, it, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment of where you would like us to visit. And this year is going to be hopefully a very, very busy year of going to visit some remarkable places. And I have to say, some of those places that you ladies and gentlemen have recommended look pretty damn awesome. I never knew places like that existed and I'm very glad that they are here in Germany with us, not so far from this mountain range that we are living in. So cool, let's go and visit. Today, we are visiting a place dating back over 5,000 years. Its former Roman name, Lopodunum, or something along them lines, I'm not very good at Latin. So obviously the name has changed continuously over time to become what we now know as Ladenburg. So here we are at the main door of the Gothic St. Gallus Church. So we're going to go in and take a little look around because this church has quite a bit of history. It was built upon the foundations of the former Roman Forum and Basilica. And at the time of the construction, it was the largest construction north of the Alps. It measured in about 84 meters wide and 130 meters long. So we're going to head out now, just take a little look, and as I open the door, we're going to be able to take a peek at some history. So what you see in front of you now is the first car garage belonging to Carl Benz, so the first car garage in the world. And this would have been a residency. So here on the left we have the Bibliothek, so also known as the Library. And in 1502 the Emperor Maximilian I, he went off to visit his friend Johannes von Dahlberg, who was the Bishop of Worms. And then after the visit the Library of the Monastery of Lorsch was moved to Ladenburg. And at the time it was one of the most important libraries in the Renaissance. Right there, just in front of us, what do you see is a copy of the Jupiter Giant Column. And the original can be found in that building right over there, the pink one. Also known as the museum.
And here you can see the two arches, which is very common, the larger and the smaller for these type of hoffs, which used to be a farm or courtyard. And remember, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and let us know places that you think we should go and visit and check out.